Andy Trice here, and today I want to show you some experiments that I've been working on for PhoneGap and mobile web applications. And what they are is our samples showing how to use a, the accelerometer on a device along with parallax motion to give the illusion of a three-dimensional user interface. Um, when I'm talking about the accelerometer on the device, I'm talking about detecting what the orientation of the device is as you're holding it. And parallax motion, meaning that if we have foreground and we have background elements, we're moving those at different rates to give the illusion of depth. Um, this is the same kind of effect that's used on iOS 7, the, the home screen, where it looks like the icons are standing out from the background. And when you rotate the device, the background moves one direction, the icons move the other direction. Um, Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, I've got examples in PhoneGap running um, on both iOS and Android. The first thing I want to show you is, a, is the most basic example. Let me go ahead and launch it on both platforms. Um, this is a Samsung Galaxy S4. This is an iPhone 5. And what we've got is a set of icons that are on a background. And as I tilt the device, you can see that the background shifts. So if I tilt to the right, the background shifts slightly to the left and the icons in the front shift slightly to the right. I've also got it um, going in the vertical direction, so if I tilt forward or I tilt backward, tilt left, tilt right, you can see that there's a difference in motion between the background and the icons in the front. I've got the same example. This is running um, on Android. Now let me show you my next example, which is slightly it's very, very similar, but I've added a little bit more depth by introducing a multiple layers of depth. So the first example was just the background and the foreground images. In this example, we've got the background that which moves the foreground images, and we've also got a layer of clouds in between the background and the foreground, which animates at a um, different rate than both the foreground and the background, and this gives a little bit more depth to the image. So you can see multiple things moving as I rotate the device. Again, I'll show this also running on Android. What I've noticed is that um, some of the performance of the accelerometer and the rendering on um, Android is a little bit more sluggish than iOS, but you can still achieve the same kinds of effects. And this is uh, Samsung Galaxy S4, which is running Android 4.3. So let me show the, the last example, which they all look very similar. Uh, the first two just show the motion of the device. So as you're rotating the device, you can see the background and the icons move. The third example I'm going to show you here is how you can leverage um, a parallax scrolling to not only have depth with kind of a main navigational screen, but also if I tap on one of these, you can see that the content on the subsequent screens also stands out. But if you notice between the first screen and the second screen, the background, all I'm doing is um, animating the background as I shift content. Uh, you know, when the new screen comes in, it goes from the right to the left. And the background scrolls to the right as I do that. And that kind of gives you um, an added level of immersion, an added level of depth. It's kind of like the parallax scrolling that's used widely on um, Windows phone devices. But this is all um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And it's levering, leveraging device motion events inside the web view. In PhoneGap, you can also use the accelerometer class to access the, the accelerometer gyroscope. Um, but in this case, I'm just using standard um, HTML uh, and JavaScript APIs. And that way, it, this exact same code could be used in a mobile device browser, or it could be used um, you know, inside of a phone gap app.